dog saves my life on a daily basis. My name's Andy and this is Bailey. When you're homeless, it can be a pretty unforgiving world. More than anything, it's company. It's yeah. having another heartbeat that's on your side. He carries my shopping. He won't allow me to carry anything. He, he just wants to carry it. He, he just so wants to please all the time. I actually bought him off the street, off a beggar, when he was uh, four weeks old. So I give him 12 pound for him. I took him to the vet the next day and the vet reckons he was four weeks old and they doped him up with Valium so he wouldn't cry for his mum. So I've had him since then. I, I had to get him off the drugs. I had to get off the drugs, weaned him. I've had him since and I haven't touched the Class A drugs since. I'm in temporary accommodation at the moment. I lost my way a good few years ago and I, I became involved in um, heavy drugs and I'd been a heroin and crack addict for about 15 years solidly in and out of jail. No good to anyone, no good to myself. It was no existence, it was just, wasn't even a life. It's a very lonely place, I've contemplated suicide. I've even gone to the bridge and then I throw myself in. I had Bailey with me and I was thinking, do I chuck, do I go in with him? We all only live once. Who am I to choose when his time's up? That was, that was the lowest I've been. Yeah. And I ended up getting, I sat there for a couple of hours just staring at him and he just convinced me. Because there is communication there. It may not be words, but it's there. He, he turned me around again, again, to say he's a lifesaver. When you're stood there, hungry, and no one's noticing you, just walking by as if you don't count, in your mind, it convinces you that you are worthless, that you don't count. But with him, he looks to me for his food. He looks to me for love. You know, he looks to me to play with him. It gives me a role. It might even be a tiny role, but it's a purpose. It's a purpose to get up and behave. If I get arrested and go to prison, I lose my dog. They'll put him in a home and I'll never see him again. They'll rehome him and that'll be that. If I lose my place, I lose my dog, you know? Of course, I, I look at it from my own point of view as well. I don't want to be homeless. I don't want to be in jail but it's that extra incentive to do good. I still wake up and I still think about drugs. You just, as an addict, whether it be drink, gambling, it's always there, it's always there. But I take my dog for a walk and it just changes my mindset. And I've met so many people through my dog, artists, interesting people who wouldn't have given me 10 minutes on the road normally. At the end of the day, when you shut the door and turn the light out, he's the one I reach for. You know what I mean? And he's, he's there, he sleeps under the covers with me and all that. He's, he's just always there for me. Honestly, they can cure anything. It's all about love. It's all about love. Give, and through him, I've learned, because I lost all my family through my addiction and that, I've learned how to give love, more importantly, receive it. And he loves me unconditionally, you know, and it's, it's wonderful. It, I count my blessings every day.